going to show you a really easy website that you can use to play some interactive, maybe timed kind of trivia games, maybe for review or other activities in your classroom. Um, I always played Jeopardy with my kids in a classroom, but I had the whole elaborate program and the tools with the buzzers and the display and the Jeopardy board. Um, we don't all have the money to do that or the scholastic points to buy some $500 piece of equipment, so we look for free things. This tool, CrowdBuzzer, can kind of fill that void for some people. So basically it's a tool that you can verbally ask a question and kids can click a button on their screen and the teacher can see who rang in first. So if you're looking for some quick responses or a way to identify which person, student, or team rang in first, this is your tool. So all you need to do is go to ccg.buzz slash host. And what you'll be greeted with is name your, your activity. So I'm just going to name this demo one. I'm going to click the begin button. And what I get is a table with nothing in it. I don't have anybody in yet. So what I do then is I have students go to ccg.buzz. When they get there, they get a code that they need to type in. All you need to do is give them the code in the top left corner of your screen. So this is 25HL. All my students need to do is type in 25HL and join. What they'll be asked is their name and their team name. Now there's a couple ways you can play this. You could have your entire class play individually, and then all they would have to do is type in their name and click the enter button. So that means you might have 25 people playing. But if you have it broken down into teams, you could just put the team name in here and leave it there. But if you have every student have their own device and they're working as a team, you could also have them put in their name and their team name. So there's a lot of ways you can do this and it's something that you'll play around with and figure out exactly how you want to set yours up. That's up to how many devices you have, whether you want every student to ring in for themselves or if you want them to collaboratively have to do it. Either way, it, it's all up to you. Then they click the enter button and they're greeted with this ready button and they're waiting for you to turn on the game and that will be your next step. Okay, now that you have set up your game and all of your students have set up their devices and they're ready to go, they will all have this gray ready button on your screen. You're just going to have a blank little table here. Go over to where it says buzzers are, and right now it says off. I'm going to click that to on, and then you'll see what happens on all the student devices. So I'll click it to on, and all their devices show up as red. That means it's ready for them to buzz in. So now is the time I would ask a question, like what color is the sky? And as soon as one of those players knows the answer, they're going to click the red button in the middle of their screen. And what that will do is my screen will record who rang in first. So we'll start with, I'll go to Bob, then I'll go down to Joe, and then I'll go to Sue. So when Bob rings in, he knows the answer. Sue or Joe rings in, and then Sue. So whatever order they came in, their buttons will turn green so they know they've rung in and my screen will show the order in which they rang in. So then I can go through on my end and just say, okay, the first team were the slugs and I could ask them their answer. And if you're playing a Jeopardy style game, if they get it right, they get the points or however your system or whatever game you're playing is, but this gives you the order in which the teams answered. When I'm ready to go answer another question, all I would have to do is click the on button, turn it off, all of their buttons get reset back to the ready button, and when I'm ready for the next question, just click it back on again. They ring in. I can see what order they came in, so I could keep doing this for question after question. Just reset. Hit the on button again in whatever order they ring in. So it's really easy, really quick. If you're doing something that's speed-based or first person to answer, it's as simple as just resetting by clicking the on button, turning it off, removes everything, turn it back on, and whatever order they buzz in shows up on your screen.